Hey, y'all. I'm uh, doing one of my favorite things today. I am cooking a recipe that uh, we have shared with y'all out of the magazine. Uh, you know, <laughs> over the holidays, I, I suggested to people that if they were looking for a teacher's gift or a Sunday school teacher's gift or a mailman, uh, a mail lady, um, whoever is in your life, that, that does things for you and helps your life just go a little bit easier. I suggested a subscription to Cooking with Paula Dean magazine because it's 70% off of newsstand prices, which this gift that will last a year is $16.99. And it's like the gift that keeps on giving. I highly recommend it. And I understand a lot of people did uh go in and choose the magazine to give us gifts. I just I just think rather than a one time gift, this is it's just a great idea. Uh, so anyway, this is our newest issue. It'll be on the newsstands until March the twentieth, maybe, something like that. Yeah. And this is weeknight dinners. And, you know, I know girls that get so tired trying to come up with something for dinner, something the family will like, something that won't break the bu the uh, bank, and then one that's not too, too difficult to make. Uh, because we're all living a fast life, aren't we? Running from pillar to post, trying, trying to get it all done. And I look at my young mothers in my family, and Lord have mercy. Uh, I think sometimes they're all wearing a taxi cab hat. Because when you got two or three children, uh, especially opposite sexes, one's going here and one's going here. So hopefully this recipe will uh, just help you, help you with the monotony of trying to come up with something. Because I've always told my family, don't tell me y'all want anything. Tell me what you would like. Because it's so much easier if I have a goal to get to. So I hope I'm helping y'all out. So this is a hearty tomato and Italian sausage recipe. And uh, if you don't particularly like Italian sausage, you can use a kielbasa. Let's see. In fact, um, we recommended a smoked sausage or kielbasa or even bratwurst, uh, should you not like sweet Italian. So there you go. I've got this going, and I've cut the Italian sausage into one-inch pieces. And uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to be adding onions, garlic, bell pepper, and then I've got eggplant, I've got zucchini, salt, pepper, sage, and crushed tomatoes. So this really screams like an Italian dish. And uh, my daughter-in-law, Claudia, just called and said that they're coming over this afternoon. So if they come over here at 4.30, they'll be looking for some dinner. So I thought this will be perfect for them because they do love Italian food. They love the the marinara sauces with the pasta. So this will be perfect. Also, I did tell Teresa a while ago, I said, I know that if a dish has some green in it, they're going to look at it, smell of it, turn up their nose and say, I don't eat that. So I asked Teresa if she would mind just peeling the green off of the, the zucchini. So they won't think there's some kind of green vegetable in there. So I'm going to toss in our onions now. And, you know, in between ingredients, just give them a minute to, uh, to kind of cook this bracket. Oh, gosh, it's already smelling good. You know, and I like, I like sweet Italian sausage. Um... I usually add it to any dish that I'm cooking, whether it be lasagna or spaghetti or something like that. To me, it's just 
pretty good. All right, now I'm going to add in our garlic. So now it's really smelling right in here. It, it, Y'all smell it? It does smell good. Okay. Now I'm going to throw in our yellow bell pepper. And hopefully they'll eat that since it's not green. <laughs> Maybe they'll think that's little pieces of candy, right? <laughs> In my dreams. So, you know, most kids love spaghetti and meatballs and things like that. So this could very well be a nice hit for your family. All right, now I'm gonna add the zucchini. I'm going to add the eggplant, and hopefully we left the peeling on. So hopefully <laughs> it'll cook up and they won't realize it's something purple. And the recipe calls for a small eggplant. So, you know, an eggplant, and if you say small eggplant to me, I'm thinking about the, uh, the Italian eggplant. Is it Italian? Japanese, Japanese, Japanese eggplant, yes. You know, because they're small. But it, it didn't say Japanese. It just it said. But it should be. Because <laughs> those things are huge. Whoa. But these will cook down. Eggplant becomes almost like a mush, you know, if you let it cook long enough. So I think that's all. I had one escape. He thought I didn't see him, but I did. Okay, this is going to need to cook. I'm going to go ahead and add my salt to those vegetables so they'll have flavor. And I'm going to add just a little pepper, you know, not much, if young people are eating it. So I'm going to let this cook for about 15 minutes. Okie dokie, it is time now to add the sage. It calls for two tablespoons of chopped fresh sage. And uh, this is an herb to me that you have to be a little careful with because it's, it's strong. And uh, if you think you don't like sage, then you might want to go kind of lightly with it. So there we go. That's pretty one heaping tablespoon, so I'll add that much. And then if I feel like it needs more, I can always add to it, but you know the old rule, you can't take it out once you put it in there. So this just looks yummy. Now I'm gonna add my crushed tomatoes. And uh, I almost always used the crushed. Uh, the diced tomatoes, they don't use, it. they just seem like you can't break them down. You know, that they're gonna be in those original chunks like forever. So I just like the way the crushed, it's not, it's not tomato sauce. It's, That's what I was gonna say, it doesn't look like crushed. <laughs> it looks like uh, tomato, tomato sauce. sauce. If I actually opened a can of tomato sauce and you saw it next to that, uh -huh. you would see that uh, it's not pureed completely. So there we go. That is the last step. Now, we're going to let that cook for uh, another 15 minutes. And I'll leave that cover on because my cookware has the vent hold, so that will let loose of the steam. So 15 more minutes, and this will be a wrap. Look at all the water that collects. The steam turns into water, doesn't it? This looks really, really good, y'all. Now you don't mix your pasta in here, so you can use any kind of pasta you want. It just so happens that I've got elbow uh, cooked off. So I'm gonna use this because 
you know, I got a call that that uh, three of the grandbabies were coming over tonight or this afternoon to play. And uh, so I'm planning on feeding them this. And they, the macaroni, the elbow macaronis doesn't give them kind of a hard time. You know, they're already kind of bite size. So I just want to make sure that this is on time for them. Okay, so I'm cutting up that sweet Italian sausage because I do want a bite of that. Uh, now, most people would probably serve this with penne pasta. I would love it with angel hair. I just love angel hair. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Boy, hot. This is delicious. And I did go back and add a little bit more of that fresh sage. So I probably did do like the two ta tablespoons that the recipe called for. I just didn't want to overdo it since this is going to serve little people. Delicious. And remember, it was included on the weeknight dinners. Let me see. Sheet pan meals. Well, I can, oh, here it is. Skillet steak and potatoes. This is just full of great recipes. Mm. Well, I'm looking for the beginning. There it is, weeknight dinners. So, if you like me and just wish somebody would say, cook this, I want this. To me, that's half the battle, is deciding what you're gonna cook. I think you're gonna love this. It uh, does need some Parmesan cheese sprinkled on it. Which I don't think the babies will want it, but this is very good. So one more time, y'all. I'm sending you love and best dishes. Mm. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.